This is a demo for fitting the flow cell part to our RFM stat style refractometers. The, this is the RFM 900, but the process will be the same on the 300s as well. It's currently fitted with the standard presser, which needs to be removed first. So with a screwdriver, just undo the main bolt. You can put that to the side. There's an O-ring in the top and one in the bottom. You'll need one of the O-rings for the flow cell. This is the flow cell part, the RFM 900 micro version. And to fit, fit this, we'll also need this big, big screw and another larger O-ring. So the first, the original O-ring stays in the top and the bolt goes through there and the thicker o-ring goes along the bottom. You can then sc screw this into the flow cell part. You can use the spanner to do it up nice and tight. The next step is to get, make sure the arm can be latched down. So you'll need the metal block and two screws, and this fits on the back. Use an Allen key. Tighten it all up. And then to hold the arm down itself, we have this latch arm. There's a pull, pull, pull latch on the front, which will do the holding at the front. And this just screws in the hole in the back. Again, use the Allen key to tighten it up. There has to be enough pressure on the ball that it will slide across, maybe a little lift to get it on. And you can tighten it with your fingers if needed. On the flow cell, you can then fit, fit what nozzles you like, one in the top, and one in the side, as with our current generation of flow cells. You might want a small amount of grease to perfect the seal. There is supposed to be a little motion in, in this part, so it sits nicely in the prism dish. That's the system put together.